Hey church, my name is Ellen Hutchinson and I've really been... Hey church, I'm Ellen Hutchinson and I've been really enjoying these NLC Live Devos where we can break down scripture and just make sure that we're getting everything out of it that we can. And so today we're going to be looking in 1 Timothy 6:17. God tells us, command those who are rich in the things of this life not to be proud, but to place their hope not in such an uncertain thing as riches, but in God, who generously gives us everything for our enjoyment. Man, this scripture is jam-packed with good wisdom because it is about our finances, but it's easy to fill in the blank and think, about different topics in your life where maybe this is something a trap that we fall into so god is really clear in the scripture about a sin to avoid uh first things first god does not hate money god gave us money for a reason jesus talked about money all the time and because he wants us to be a good steward of it it is a resource for us in our lives and for the people around us and so if we aren't healthy in our finances we're not going to be able to um, to help those around us or to serve our church or even our own families the way that we want. We want to leave a legacy for our families, for the people around us. That's God's will for our money. But this scripture is really important because as we focus on money so much, especially even in our own culture, uh, it's easy to fall into this sin which God tells us to avoid. And that is putting our hope and all of our trust in our bank account. I think we know as you get older, it becomes very obvious that you can save and you can invest and you can do everything you can to be a good steward. But then one unexpected event happens and everything gets flipped upside down. Our money is fleeting. The things of this world are like a vapor. And so we can't put all of our hope and trust in such an, a shifting thing. Uh, there was a study recently done that it was about the correlation between your happiness and your finances. And the study said that as in, income increases, as you rise through the rankings of household income, that your tendencies of pride, amusement, and contentment go up. But your experience of compassion and love and awe go down. I don't know about you, but I don't want to lose my compassion or my love or my awe. And so God knows better. He's saying, if you're putting all of your eggs in this basket, if you're putting all of your hope in your money, you're missing out on the better things. And so the command that we are to obey is to put our hope in God. And the reason he's saying that is not because God wants your money or something, it's because he knows that he is never going to change. And so in every season of your life, while the things of earth may be up or down, he is constant. And so he's saying, don't stand on this shifting ground. Stand on me, the solid rock. I'll be with you through everything. And thinking about the fruit of the Spirit, all these things, love and patience and kindness and goodness and self-control, you can't buy those things. Those come from God, and that's his promise in the scripture. He says, I will give them to you generously, everything you need for your enjoyment. So we can rest in knowing that in seasons of famine and in seasons of harvest, God remains the same and will continue to give us the things that we need in life for true enjoyment. Let's pray together. God, we are grateful that you would trust us with money. We recognize that you give it to us as a resource for our own families and for the people around us, God, that we could be the hands and feet of Jesus. And we don't want to mistake money for the Messiah. And we don't want to mistake what is important here, which is you, your presence in our life, and the gifts that you give us. So, Father, we repent of times where we put our hope in the wrong place. We trust in you, God. We are thankful for your favor and your goodness in our lives, and we will continue to fix our eyes on you and readjust if that's what is needed. Times when we've put our 
our hope and our trust in the wrong place. God, right now we fix our eyes on you. We say our hope, our trust is in you, our solid rock. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.